Yeah, it's all scrappy. Um, hello, internet. I kind of want to do a unboxing of my nerd block, which is a thing I found on YouTube. Not YouTube, Facebook. Not my Facebook, that was essentially the loot crate. But I got it, and look what happened. I also got my loot crate, which is weird. So. I'm going to open Lincoln for both of them on the same day. Now, they're both relatively the same thing, Loot Crate, but I think it's more established, so it's cheaper. So, they say under $20, including shipping, where third block is $20, plus shipping, but most kind of like 25 at the end of the day. But, one thing that third block Loot Crate has going for it is it's from California. Um, as you can or cannot see, I have no, I have no clue, man. It's kind of crappy looking. This, as you can see, that's some French. This is from Canada. So, I think there is a Canadian problem. One interesting thing is in the reason why I think I can get my loot created is, uh, when I Google search my tracking order, it gave me a UPS the USPS post office tracking number. Yeah, I just that number and the package came from Orlando and went to Orlando. And I was postmarked the same day and you know, first I thought it was mine and I thought, wait, no, this makes no sense. How is this mine? Because Luke Great uses USPS. Not you a UPS. God damn, they're so similar. It uses U UPS, United Postal Service. And yeah, so I put that into um, UPS as well, and I got the proper tracking number. I don't know, maybe you see my face when I'm talking. And I got the proper tracking number. And I come here, and there is a, a UPS sticker, and a USPS sticker. So, I'm thinking they took turns and showed me my package. Well, that's the fun story, sir. <laughs> the fun thing I found out about Nerd Block. I think this is the first one. I don't know. I could be wrong, but I found out it on Facebook from friends. So I was like, mm, I got lots of funnies now. So let's try it out. Um, I did one unboxing of the uh, loot crate and. Uh, I'll do it first. I can, this is my fourth one. I know what to expect. Roughly. Um, it's my money, so I think I should also buy a better webcam or possibly a better tripod for my camera, which can record in HD. This is in HD. In fact, when I look at it, see how the problems with the lighting and everything. I don't know. And it's not in problem. See, look at all my crappy lighting, camera. This is this is a problem I no one wants to watch me. Same thing with my cooking show. Yes, like the weird people do cooking show. Well, let's, let's check it out. Okay. Okay, I need to get my. My mother approved juice box. Juicy. Out of the way. Yeah, let's check it out. And look at that. I get a uh, a shirt, so I can actually compare. Compare and contrast the two a little bit more. I forgot to take the ball. Straight focus. I forget exactly what the theme is. Um, let's look at the shirt and see what the theme is. Maybe I can figure it out. Okay. What is that? I can't get the entire shirt in. It's kind of hard. It's like tech tree, you know, like Halo. Um, it looks fairly gamey. There's Halo, there's Karate Guy. Uh, Tetris, um, 
not sure what the theme is from it. It's a cool shirt. I'll wear the shirt, but I'm not sure what the theme is off it. I'm looking at it. The book says Warriors. That is the theme. Um, it's pretty useless. Uh, I got a bow tie. Oh, and there is an impossible bear thing. I don't know. Apparently, this is previous warriors type theme because this is a black tea geek. I don't know. Well, that's cool. I don't. I don't know when I'm ever going to wear a bow tie. It is a fast click bow tie, so. Okay. Let's put the bow tie on. Ooh, I like pretty with my bow tie. You know what? Something that is fun that I found out is the clasp is bolted. The clasp is right there, right where my freaking jugular is. That it's not comfortable. I can't be on the back. I mean, you're supposed to go underneath your, my collar, so no one's gonna freaking see it. But. Hmm. Bow ties are uncomfortable. And I got a button. February Warriors. It looks like Dino, or I don't know, is that, could that be like Catbug wearing a Game Boy? I don't know. Probably. Catbug wearing. Open me. Do not eat the delicious card. Um. Oh. I got a card. Baking thing. This is what this is saying. Don't eat the baking cards. I love you more than bacon. Oh. That is that is a thank you card. Um. And then look here, I've got some stickers. Stickery. And then I got a coupon for a free digital comic from the Warriors. Do you want you wanna see it? Do you wanna see it? The code code is right there. Let's see, I got a bunny. Hmm. I'm gonna open this. this. This seems like it might be something I like. Usually, um, you get the top things from them. Uh, I have my V for Vendetta. Uh, somewhere. Oh. I'm sure you've seen them floating around. Spencer's. There's a lot of Spencer's. But, you know, I don't always like those. Holy crap, so... This is, like, glued shut, too. It's not just taped. Yeah, that is... Why did they do it? Not damage the box. That's horrible packaging. Look at that. It, it was glued. It wasn't just a tape thing. Open it up and uh, giant thing. Classic. They actually got a fast open thing in there. He comes with a fishing rod and uh, a little nice thing to tell you who he is, which uh, got damaged because of their packaging, but. It's just a bunny.
this is the button. It's kind of cool. Uh, I might sit it out. It's cool. I'll keep it around. I might take it to work. Like, just to have something at work on my desk. But no, and then you put the fishing rod in him. So I'm going to get a better thing. This is him with his fishing rod. So yeah, that kind of empty. I think I'm going to take the word and it's going to be just dump on the desk. Then the last thing is I get one of those cheap plastic backpack things. And it says gas powered stick. Which is another weird impossible beer thing. I don't know. It's an impossible beer I forget. I don't really care about him. Ferris Warriors is fun, but I'm not going to kill myself over, you know, Frederator does cooler things. Um, they more really make most of their money from, um, Adventure Time, obviously, but I was a backer of Bee and Honey Cat, or Puppy Cat, Bee and Puppy Cat. Which is a lot cooler to me. I can't wait for that. I think that's gonna be cooler. Um, Cause a lot of people are trying to say that oh, it's a great girl focus, but I just to look at it. It kind of looks like an Adventure Time, but with a female main character. Only it's not like a joke, like the one in uh, Adventure Time. But it's taking itself seriously, and I mean it's goofy, but it's taking the female seriously, which is interesting. Because apparently they're going to be taken seriously now. That's a joke, if anyone can't tell. Okay, so, good news. I opened up the box, and uh, that was the shipping box. This is the real box. Yeah, this is like thin, thin cardboard, so I kind of understand why they did this. This box definitely would not survive the shipping thing. Also, they just don't really take anything. It just slides out. So let's get the slide. Bam. Um, can't really see anything. Let's see what I got. I got a shirt. Really, that's like a really cool shirt, actually. I like it. A Samus. I guess in the form of an Xbox One? I don't know. Choppling a PS4. This is actually a really, really cool shirt. I like this shirt much better. <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking about maybe a loot crate that's paid to do things. I don't know. But no, looking at it, I have way more things. The little great the shirt, the bunny thing, a button, a free comic, and the thank you card. That's five. Look at this real quick. We got the shirt. Two, three, four, five, six, seven things. I got seven things from Nerd Block. So the second thing I'm going to do is this Mashables thing. I keep looking at this. I need like a bigger, better webcam. I definitely need to buy one of those. This is what I need to do to make the YouTube famous. This is, this is why I never will be famous. I will never make that YouTube money. <gasps> I'm so sad. Yeah, this was money work from Power Rangers themed. Um, yeah, 
I got the other ranger. Weird, it's so squishy and gummy and Well, I guess that's why it's called a mashable. Look, I can mash it. Um, it looks like I can see the seal right there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but that's where they like encapsulated. They filled this with air and stuff. But yeah, look, it's just kind of that. Well, um, this is definitely uh, fodder for a desk. But no, that's cool. <laughs> um, again, E.T. collectible miniature foil figurine. That's cool. I, I did not realize that he still cared about E.T. Um, no, E.T. is a cool movie that Spielberg did. Uh, Put Reese's Pieces on the map. Oh, I think that's one of the more important things. Also, um, Nerd went crazy because of the 20th anniversary thing. Uh, they replaced all the uh, guns with walkie talkies, and everyone took the box out. Um, oh, yeah. That's ET. Phone home, little guy. Phone home. Uh, so, there's one of seven. So, I guess I, I could make friends. I can make friends with all my buddies that got nerd block. And, oh, see, I can't get my face in. And reaching that far collection thing. Follow them. I don't think I have to work. Um, here's a Smurf thingy. I assume it's going to be a collectible, looking just like the other one, only it's a smurf thing. Oh look, it looks like it's possible I could get smurfette. What smurfette? I hope I get smurfette. Let's, let's, let's look at it so we can all be disappointed together. Oh! No smurfette, see? But I did get... How did you least get something that was accurately themed for me? We got Grumpy Smurf. <laughs> I don't know, does it say what his name is? Apparently there are rules. This comes with a game. I'm not ever gonna play with the game. Yeah, no, it, it doesn't say <laughs> it doesn't say who he is. So I'm just gonna go with Grumpy Smurf. He looks grumpy. I don't know. I'm I'm quite sure that he, his name could be Grumpy, but I'm more going Seven Dwarfs Grumpy. <laughs> who knows? So now. I get a Marvel Thor The Dark World Avengers initiative. Alright, he's like, look at Legos. I don't know if I should take it out and look at the quality or like, just keep it pristine so I could sell it on um, eBay or something. This mini mats. I've never seen this. I always want to say this is like an exclusively Canadian thing that they sell to Canadians. Oh my god, look at the back. These are the other ones. They just scream other torture. Like, save me. I don't know how much you can see that. They, just, oh. they look kind of like Legos or like crappy. Okay, I got a gal skin for my um, phone. Um, is it for a phone? I don't know. It's just for smartphone. I think this is like a custom you make it 
your own thing. Um, yeah, it kind of looks like um, some Transformers, um, some Cobras, some gummy bird looking thing, um, Voltron, um, Gem. You know, I'm going a barbarian, you know. Don't know what this guy is, but um apparently the biggest thing is Transformers because they got both Optimus and Lord Megatron. And there. It says the uh painful gorilla presents the eighties. How would I put this on my phone though? The generic ones all kind of suck, and I didn't put a thing in for the phone because everyone has a different phone name. There are no instructions, um, I guess I have to go online. It's 3M, so, I mean... 3M must have decided to call it Gala Skins. Gala... Gila... Gil, Gil, G, Gila, Gila skins. I don't know why they can take three and duct tape on your phone. <laughs> well, at least it kind of seems like it's just like a giant duct tape square looking at it. Mm, that's cool. I don't really think I want to put it on my phone. I'm gonna put this on something, but in the future. You know, I might get some other product there. And then I got Halos. Action Clicks. I think this might be another type of fighting game thing that you do with the Smurf, kind of like with the Smurfs. Yeah, it definitely is. There's like a counters. It's don't really want to move without breaking the freaking spotting thing. But yeah, see the clip now, this is for like a game thing. Apparently. There's a red button. With assault rifle or battle rifle. Here's a green one on a Rick Rock with dual SMGs. And here's an elite. The plasma rifle, and it's clear, so I guess that means I want the jackpot. So, yeah. Overall, um, Luke Creek's kind of a bunch of worthless junk on uh, Nerd Block. It is a kind of a bunch of collectible desk thingies. Um, I got like two shirts. Shirts are cool. Nerd Block. A way better shirt. I, d I definitely like third block shirt better. Um, and I, both of them had weird like desk things that I put on that are kind of cool. Like this. See, think this is the coolest out of all of them. Third block kind of looked like it was mostly the crappy desk tabletop games and nature games. But I don't know if they were dug out. I feel like I'm fairly close to like the magics and the videos. I don't do them anymore, but I did. I kinda knew people I did I know people do Warhammers. I don't think those ever really got that big. Star Wars I think was the biggest. Apparently maybe there's a market in Canada for all this. Because their block is Canadian. A but yeah. Uh I'm not gonna edit this, just gonna upload it. Um for those who stick around, thank you for watching my shitty video.
this video has been brought to you by this just juice box cooler thing. Oh, Minute Meat's not paying me, so don't pay attention to this. But it's brought by this specific thing, not not the brand, just this specific piece of aluminum crap. Thank you. Bye.